So five benefits for hypnosis. Yep. Hypnosis is one of those things that scares people um, because they've watched shows where they've seen people or seen pe people lose control or seem to lose control. And what you've got to understand is that everybody's in a trance. Everybody's always in a trance. Yep. It's what it is, is how to get into certain states that you need to be in for that specific moment in time. That's what hypnosis is to me now. Now I've studied it, now I've seen what it is. It's actually, that's what it means to me now. It's like when I um, do something uh, or a hypnotic or an altered state, it's basically what state do they need to be in in order to make this change? And it's usually the learning state and that's a relaxed state um, where the unconscious mind and conscious mind can build rapport. So that is what hypnosis is to me now, but everybody's always in a, always in a state, they're always in a trance of some sort. It may be a driving trance, it may be the TV trance, where you know when you're watching the TV or the blokes you know what I'm talking about, watching the football, and someone's saying something to you and you're, not, you, you're too much in a trance to actually be disturbed by them. So it's, you're always in a trance, you're always in some sort of a trance. So it's just a matter of which trance you want to be in. Now the tip number one for the benefits of hypnosis is going to be accelerated healing. Now when I went to my NLP master practitioner course, what one of the stories that I heard from there, um, one of the guys, is he, he broke his metatarsal and he actually healed that within nine days and usually it takes about six weeks. And because he was doing one, he believed he could do that, and two, he done some techniques. So, in other words, telling his con unconscious mind to actually do these things. There's a field um, called quantum field, quantum field healing. Uh, David Hamilton. So look that up as well. And um, he goes into making sure that you focus is to do with intention and focus. And this is also work from Deepak Chopra as well where your intention, your intention is to heal and your, you focus on specific parts of the body to heal. So if there's loads of evidence around this and again there's a real world evidence I have where someone actually um, used these, this stuff, especially beliefs, they believe they could, uh, they intended to do it and they focused using specific, um, in, in a certain state they actually got to the position where their body was accelerating the healing processes which is used um, in cancer for cancer and and all sorts of uh, healing as well um, there's also work from Robert Dilts who um, helped his mum heal from cancer so it there's loads of evidence there's loads of real-world stuff that I can relate to now but it's very beneficial um, with regards to healing Thank you.